Hey guys, welcome back to the record room. And once again, thank you to all of our new subscribers, new viewers. I uh, just, I'm thrilled that <laughs> people want to watch, uh, you know, and comment as well. I really enjoy reading all your comments. Uh, so please make sure you carry on doing that. Give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Tell me what you think of the episode. Tell me what you'd like to see on the record room going forward. And if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can. We are at Record Room Show. And on this week's episode, I thought I'd do something I haven't done for a long time, and that's do some unboxings. Um, or unboxing or un unwrapping, because there's no boxes involved. Uh, but I've got some new albums here uh, that I'm gonna take a look at. And one is actually currently up for pre-order, and it's incredible and I'm a big fan of it, so I want you to go and head over and grab yourself a copy of it. But before we get to that, I want to talk about the album that turned me on to this, uh, I don't want to say group because it is just one man, but this album here, Witchboard, it's been emotional. This Witchboard is the brainchild of the uh, filmmaker Glenn McQuaid. And this, this album here, um, no word of a lie, this is probably in my top 10 albums of all time. Um, as far as electronic music go, um, it's like top three. It is, it is up there with, you know, the Tangerine Dreams and, and, and uh, Brian, you know, stuff like that. I absolutely love, love this album. It's dark, moody, electronic goth, electro, um, there's a cover on here as well uh, from the movie Fright Night. This album, which bought It's Been Emotional, um, I want to say this came out like five, six years ago. I actually don't know the date on it and there's no date on the record itself. Um, you just get a big, it's a big thick slab of black vinyl. It is absolutely incredible. I have spoken many times about my love for this record in particular. And uh, it's this record that kind of turned me on to Glenn and, you know, um, a big fan of the movie he made, um, I Sell the Dead. I think it's I Sell the Dead. It's a great movie. Um, and I've been following Witchboard ever since that record. And there's been some electronic uh, or digital releases, I should say, uh, via his band camp, but, Great label and friend of the show, Library of the Occult, are about to drop the new album from Witchboard, which is called Incidental Goth Music for Television and Film. I mean, what an incredible name for a start. It's just, it's absolutely brilliant. This one comes out, um, I think it's the first week of July. It's currently up for pre-order now on the... Um, Library of the Occult web shop. I'll leave a link to that down below so you can go and grab a copy there. But this is, as the, uh, the aforementioned incidental goth club music for television and film, music by Witchboard, limited edition pressing of 400 copies on neon night vinyl, which I will show you here. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And these records don't come sealed. Uh, for me anyway <laughs> so uh yours might be sealed but that's so there you go there's the the nice library of the occult label and the witch board on the other side but it is a beautiful color and i can i can tell you now it sounds fantastic as well it's a really 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 good sounding record and on the front here, we've got some notes from the superb Pentagram Home Video, who I'm also a huge fan of. Uh, night music for night people, McQuaid soundtracks, a neon lit club where the dance floor is teeming and the corners glisten red. Dark wave through a kraut rock dry ice haze. This is dream music for the creatures of the night and their prey. I could not have said it better. This is an incredibly listenable album that might sound strange but again an album being listenable aren't all albums listenable it's just you put it on and it's just so good that when it ends you want to flip it over and start again it's dark electronic melodic it, there are not enough 
words for me to describe how much I love this album. It's it's really good. I urge you to check it out. It is, um, as I say, it's for pre-order now. It will be up on Bandcamp as well, so you are more than welcome to try before you buy. But I, I cannot say enough good things about Witchboard. I can I, I, every Witchboard release I would recommend picking up. The first album, it's been emotional. I'm pretty sure you can find it online still. It's so good. I'm such a fan. I have a test pressing of that record as well. I absolutely adore that. And uh, I myself released one of Glenn's um, experiments, excursions in sound projects, the uh, the Hellfire Caves, which I also recommend as well. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. It's a very, I don't want to say it's dark ambient. It's more like a, um, it's more like a, a found recording um, in nature. It's it's spooky as all get out. It really is like the premise of it. It's it's a recording, you know, of the Hellfire Caves, and you think, well, how uh, is that fun? Is that is that something enjoyable to listen to? For me, absolutely. And I put it out because I am. It's a great recording. It's probably not for everybody, but it is a superb recording, and I cannot say enough good things about Witchboard. Big fan. Also a big fan of Library of the Occult, as you know. We've featured many of their releases in the past. If you're not already following them online, please do so. You can also follow Witchboard on social media as well, and I highly recommend you do so. The, the output is oh, so, so, so good. But that's not all I have for you on this episode, because I also have a couple of new releases from our pals at Lakeshore Records. The first of which being... The score for Scott Pilgrim takes off. This is the soundtrack from the animated Netflix series, music by Adam Anaguchi and Joseph Trapanese. I believe that's how you say it, Trapanese. But this is, for anyone that doesn't know, this is a, an animated reimagining, not reimagining, but this is an, an animated version of the Scott Pilgrim story. Obviously they made the film uh, a few years back, but this is the, the animated version here. And I haven't actually opened this yet. So uh, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna open it on the channel. Uh, we've got here score by Anna Managuchi and Joseph Trapanese, songs by Anna Managuchi, Bloom by Nekri Talki and other stuff, double LP gatefold jacket, colored vinyl, one black disc, one white disc, a booklet and printed sleeve. So the packaging, it's pretty cool on this. So I'm gonna take my trusty knife. Now, some people some people don't like to use knives. Some people use plectrums or credit cards. Um, however you open your records is entirely a personal choice. Do, do what feels good. I personally like to use a craft knife because I like to keep, once the shrink is split, it kind of defeats the purpose of shrink. So it, it stops, it doesn't crumple the packaging essentially. Um, so I like to use a knife just to keep it nice and fresh. But here we go. This is disc one. So we've got some nice images from the show there. And this is going to be the black vinyl disc. This is my first time seeing this as well. So I'm quite intrigued. Oh, we've got a nice sex bob there for side one and another one for side two, excellent, excellent. And there is an insert in this. And where is the insert? Ah, the insert is in side two. So let's take a look at that. So this is pretty cool. You get a booklet of Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Musical. This is very cool featuring artwork. Um, this is so cool. Oh, this is excellent. This is like a... Um, this is like a uh, like a playbill you would get from a play, but it's Scott Pilgrim themed. It's very, very cool. Uh, you got some credits in there and some more artwork. Some information about the songs. And some information about the score as well. This is very cool. This is very cool. This is my first time seeing this. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I did actually work on this. Um, so it's always cool to see my name pop up on something as cool as this. And um, that is really cool. Really cool. There you go. So there you go. That's the insert. And then disc number two. That's a very cool, very cool picture there. And this picture of Scott and the crew 
That's awesome. This one is on white vinyl. And there you go. So that one is side three. And then that one is side four. Now, I know this one is sold out via the Lakeshore Records web shop, but uh, it's probably available at retail, Amazon, Juno, wherever you buy records, basically. Um, you can get that. And it is a great listen as well. It's, it's one disc is songs, one disc is score. Uh, the song's great. The score is absolutely killer. Um, I highly recommend the Scott Pilgrim record. It's really, really fun. But my next unboxing, this is an album. I listened to this album so many times just because I'm a big fan. Um, this is also another record I did work on, but this is also a record I would have bought um, had I had nothing to do with it because the music is just epic as all get out. And it's the score for the Fallout TV show. This is by Ramin Jawadi, who obviously has done Game of Thrones, uh, The Mountain Between Us, a bunch of just, if you want epic, this is the dude you go to. Um, and this is the score for uh, the Fallout series. And it's just, it's so, so cool. I love this. Uh, Fallout original Amazon series soundtrack music by Ramin Jawadi, two times LP gateful jacket, printed in the sleeves, one yellow colored disc and one blue colored disc. And again, I haven't actually seen this finished copy until now, but I can tell you this, I have listened to this score so many times just through going through the test press um, approval stage. Um, you know, that's, that's primarily how I hear a lot of these records for the first time. I do listen to them digitally, but I try not to over listen to them digitally because I want vinyl to be my main thing. And um, I'm really, really, really glad. Oh, that is so cool. It's the ghoul. How cool is that? Absolutely incredible. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Right, you got some notes on the back of side one. Oh, wow, that is yellow. Bam, look at that. I think I could probably just turn my lights off and this would just glow. That is so cool. That is almost like a, a radioactive yellow. It's so bright. That is so, so cool. Love the center labels on this as well. So there you go, that's disc one. And then let's have a look at disc two. Oh, I love this. That's so cool. Basically, essentially you get the main characters from the show. Uh, I'm not a fan of printed inner sleeves. I will say that I would much prefer a polyline sleeve and an insert. Um, but it's not always possible to do that kind of a thing. So there you go. That's the blue disc. This is disc two. Very, very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Oh man. Even though I've listened to this score, like I don't even want to go into how much I listen to the score. I listen to the score on my stereo, on a couple of different stereos. I listen to the score on my headphones. <laughs> I listen to a digital rip of the vinyl. <laughs> I really love that show, really love the score. And I may just have to go and listen to it again. I may do. But there you go, some unboxings on this episode of The Record Room. And if there's anything you would like to see in future episodes or on future episodes, I should say, reach out, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and hit that big subscribe button. And once again, you can follow us on social media if you wish, we are at Record Room Show. Instagram is the main place uh, where you can catch some interaction from me, or actually YouTube. I read all of the comments and try to reply to all of them. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. I love talking about records. I'm not in this for anything other than the love of talking about vinyl, talking about making records, uh, different colors, different variants, different pressings, all of that kind of stuff. So if that's the kind of content you're looking for, make sure you are subscribed to The Record Room. But until next time, spin those blackest circles.